For many enterprise customers, it doesn't matter how powerful a cloud solution is if the barriers to entry to move workloads onto the platform are too great. For that reason, I'd like to start by showing how easy it is to move traditional application workloads, dev and test environments, and training images onto the IBM Development and Test Environment Services, or IDTES, platform. The best way to describe this is lift and shift. You lift the virtualized x86 resources from on-premises and shift them to the cloud. As you can see on the screen, I've logged into the ID Test Web UI and I'm on the VM Imports tab. Now this is only going to take about four clicks to really send this entire virtual machine from my on-premises data center up to IDTS. So I'll go ahead and click Create VM Import Job and I'll give it a name IDTS Import Demo and I could select the regions. So regions are essentially the data centers. There are several in the US and Canada, Europe, and Asia Pacific and then I'll click Save Import Job. This is essentially telling the system that I'm going to be sending in one or more new virtual machines. And you can send multiples at a time that will be grouped together in the system, and I'll show you how that looks in just a second. So I'll go ahead and copy over the username and password to my FTP client that I have prepared, and this is custom to me, and I'll go ahead and click Connect. And we see right here there's an Upload folder. And then all I need to do is drag over my OVA files and I'll send them up to IDTES. So this will take just a minute or two and then we'll move on to the next step in the process. As this transfer has about a minute left, I should mention that if there are large numbers of VMs that you want to send, you can also do this by physical media. So sending physical media to IDTES. And there's also a new bulk uploader that will do a lot of checking prior to sending the virtual machines to ensure that all the VMs that are sent are actually successful. And we can see that now the file was transferred successfully. I'll switch back over into the web UI. And I will now click Create Environment. So I think this is about the third click that's going on. And now the system will analyze the data that we sent, import it, and then finalize it, letting me know exactly where I can access that environment on the target system. So I'll go ahead and pause this for just another couple minutes. And we'll come back after these couple processes complete. You can see that now the import is successful and it says a new environment called IDTES import demo has been created. So I'll click that link and here we see my virtual machine. Now if I had sent in several OVAs, there would be several tiles representing each one of those virtual machines. From this point I can do all the other capabilities within IDTES that I'll be showing in the next video, including making rapid copies, saving groups of VMs as templates, attaching services, and many more capabilities. However, before we go, I do want to show one last feature of the import process, and that's the networking. So if I go into the network settings, I can set my networks to match exactly those that were used on site. So for example, if I wanted to change this to be a 192.168 network, I could change this to whatever I would want it to be. So when I click Save here, I can see that my connected virtual machines would automatically get an IP address on that network. If I wanted to give them an explicit IP address, I could go ahead and click on the virtual machine name and edit the specific network adapters to even match the MAC address of what was shipped out on site or for example if I knew that this was 192.168.1.6 I could save those changes and then when the virtual machine comes up it will automatically get the exact same IP address that it had on premises. So if there are any applications that you have that are host name or network specific you can map those to exactly what they were on site and then duplicate them out without changing any of that information.